I was seven years old when I found out I was undocumented. It was when I was enrolling at an elementary school in Los Angeles and was asked to provide a social security number that I found out about my status. I looked at my mom and she shook her head. I could already see the apology forming in her eyes about the situation I was in and how it would unknowingly affect the rest of my life. On the way back home, I would find out what exactly being undocumented meant. It meant understanding that I had to keep something so big, so secret to protect my family for the rest of my life. It meant that I would have limited access to education and financial aid, and ultimately it meant that my parents could disappear at any moment and I would have to continue living in America as if nothing was wrong. I am now 22 and still don't have citizenship nor is there a proper path to be legalized. This is why I'm advocating for citizenship for all. I'm speaking not only for the seven-year-old me who was so anxious to enroll in an elementary school, but for everyone who has had to live in fear of not having documentation in the pursuit of a happier life. This institutional issue that oppresses immigrants is a human rights issue as it tears families apart and sows trauma in immigrant communities. With Citizenship for All, it would grant psychological safety and ease, protection against deportation, and access to higher education unencumbered. It would mean not having to pay $500 every two years to delay deportation. This is why we fight to protect the vulnerable immigrant communities who often cannot speak for themselves. Join us, join me in this fight. We have nothing to lose.